Hi, welcome to Strike Zone Fishing's gear review on boat paddle boards. Today we're going to talk about boat paddle boards. They are a fishing style paddle board. We're going to talk about three specific models, the Rackham, the Boat HD, and the Flood. And we're going to talk about some gear that goes with each one of them. This is the boat paddle board Rackham. This is the Cadillac of all the boards, especially for offshore fishing. This boat is 14 feet, uh, this one is 12 feet long. They also make a 14 foot long one. This one holds 350 pounds. This one has all sorts of gear slot locations and we're going to show you a couple of the different pieces of gear that you can do. The boat paddle board Rackham will come with a paddle and they have a quick connect paddle location device up front. So this allows you to be hands free when you're fighting a fish. So you can fight the fish, drop your paddle in there so it's out of the way. Some guys will drop it on the deck, some guys will put it on a leash and drop it off the side, but a lot of guys will just stick it in the front, fight the fish till a certain point, and then they'll drop it back down on the deck. One of the other big pieces of gear a lot of guys will do is the tackle rack. The tackle rack will be located back here in the back. This one has two rod holders built on it. A lot of guys will put um, camelback system, tackle webs back there, or backpacks on here. This is not really a leaning post, but it's just designed to hold uh, gear off the deck. Some guys will get a Kula cooler. They'll position it right here, a Yeti cooler, or also an Ingle cooler. They will lash it down on the points that are attached down here on the bottom and they will use this as a seat or position to stand up to where they can see farther out. They also make a bucket rack. The bucket rack will position itself up front. You can take the Kula cooler and drop it in here like this. A lot of the customers really like taking the Yeti bucket and dropping a Yeti bucket inside of here. Some guys will put the lid on, some guys won't. Depends on the ty what type of system they're running. If they want to drop uh, their fish or just items of their tackle box down in here, it will make it a lot easier for them to collect everything. Most everybody will add the boat paddle leash on here. Especially if you go offshore, you got to have a paddle leash on the boat. This will attach to your calf or to your ankle and uh, it will definitely uh, keep your heartache away if the boat, if you fall off the boat and the boat slides out away from you, you don't have to go swimming after it. A couple other things that they have on here. When you go to carry it, they've got a center grab handle right here. The center grab handle is kind of standard on most paddle boards and it makes it for an easy day. They also have center locations that you can put lashing points onto. They also have a dry hatch right here that a lot of guys will put their keys and a plastic bag located in here. You'll see a lot of backpacks shoved underneath the gear lashing here. This, this paddle board is very, very stable. This one also glides through the water really well. They also have rear uh, lashing points back here to where you can also put other additional uh, backpacks or other camping items on here if you're going for a long haul. The Boat Rackham, one of the nicest paddle fishing boards that we have, one of the stand-up boards that a lot of guys come in to see. They also make this in an inflatable version. The inflatable version looks like this and it has all the same lashing points as the hardboard does that's in gator shell. The gator shell is, the, is one of the systems that they have installed on the boat boards to really toughen up the boards. The gator shell, if you'll look on the boat website, you'll notice that they'll drop a sledgehammer on top of the board and it doesn't ding the board. This really adds to the strength and rigidity of the board. And most all the boards that we sell will only come with the gator shell on it. This is the boat Rackham from Boat Paddle Boards. This is the Boat Paddle Board Boat HD. 
This is a 12 foot long boat. It's a uh, really nice fishing style paddle board that will hold a lot of gear. This one will comes complete with a paddle. It will also have the paddle holder located up front. It also has gear lashing in the front that you can attach backpacks or dry bags to. Some guys will take this and they'll slide it underneath the, the board, uh, un underneath the lashing when they're fighting a fish also. This board also supports all the other attachments that boat has, including the bucket rack. Some guys like to put the bucket rack on here and then they will take the Yeti style bucket and they'll attach the Yeti bucket here and they'll give, have, give them a place to sit down. It also gives them a place to store their rods. One of the other attachments that they have is the tackle rack. The tackle rack puts, holds two rod holders. You can put a tackle web, a camelback, or a backpack to give you additional storage off the, off the uh, deck of the boat. This is not designed as something to uh, lean against. In this position, I have a lot of guys will position a Yeti cooler or an Ingle cooler or a, a uh, Yeti bucket here so that gives them an additional seat location. This boat is very stable. The uh, HD cuts through the water with the, with the uh, design of the nose of the boat where it's uh, more, looks like a ship cutting through the water instead of flat like a surfboard would be. This is also a uh, dry storage that you would put your keys inside of. Put it in a plastic bag though. And then it would screw back down. This is the Boat HD, one of the nicest paddling SUP fishing boards on the market. This is the Boat paddle board, the Flood. The Flood is more of a surfboard style board. You'll notice that the nose of the board is flat, where the HD board is shaped more like a ship that will cut through the water. A lot of guys like this one to paddle board through the ocean, kind of surf on the waves. But this one really is nice because it, it, it is like a chameleon. It will double as a fishing board also. This board comes with a paddle. This happens to be the uh, flood core. The paddle, you can slide underneath here to uh, stow it when you're fighting a fish or if, you're, if you want to snorkel off of it. A lot of guys will come in and grab the tackle rack. The tackle rack will be located back here. You can drop your fishing rods in here. You can attach a tackle web on here. You can also put a camel back or a backpack on here. We have additional storage back here for dry bags or backpacks, as well as the front of the board has additional storage up there. A lot of guys will take this and also attach the uh, Ingle dry boxes, uh, the 30 and the 19, with either the live well system or the rod holder system to hold additional rods on here. The bucket rack will also fit on here. So with the bucket rack installed, a lot of guys will take a cooler cooler or a Yeti style bucket with a lid on it and position it so that they can sit on top of this. Well, has additional rod holding or rod holder storage here, and it makes it really nice for, for those long days paddling out there fishing. All right, located in the center of the board is the carry handle. So it has a grip inside of it so that you can pick the board up, turn it on its side, and carry the board. It also has a miniature dry hatch here. This is a location that you would uh, put your keys or your ID, put it in a plastic bag, and drop it down in here. You're able to seal it up you'll always know that your car keys are with you. Once again, this is the Boat Flood, one of the nicest paddling paddle boards out there in this class. Thanks for watching the Strike Zone Fishing Paddle Board Review. We reviewed the Boat Paddle Boards today. We looked at three different models, the Rackham, the Boat HD, and the Boat Flood. 
Those aren't all the boards that we handle here at the store. If you get a chance, come by Strike Zone Fishing in Jacksonville, Florida at 11702 Beach Boulevard. And come take a look at all the boards we have in the store as well as all the boards we have in the warehouse. Don't be afraid to ask to go see the boards in the warehouse. We take a lot of people over here every day to come by and see both kayaks and paddle boards over here. Thanks for watching.